What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about some new recipes being added into the Elder Scrolls Online. Something that varies from what we already have available because most of the gold and purple 160 recipes pretty much have the exact same stats and I know a lot of people see it kind of kind of be a pointless thing to go out and farm these and I think it's confusing for a lot of new players as well because they think you need to go out and get all of these recipes that are really expensive to make or really expensive to buy and that's not necessarily the case because about 90% of the time most of the recipes in game when it comes to epics and, and golds that are 160 are pretty much interchangeable because the majority of them have the exact same stats or close to the exact same stats and I think Zoss could really look at the whole recipe idea and do something different because I'm sure we're going to get more recipes in the future. And unless it's like the sugar skulls or the bone marrow, we know we've got over the last few years that vary a little bit. There really is not a lot of point in going after them unless you're, you know, wanting to sell them on, you know, a trader or something like that. I really wish they would look at how they handle what the recipes do and really mix it up. I mean, make it so there's room for all kinds of different configurations or all kinds of different ways that you can mix and match this with your particular build. Make it a unique thing for each individual character. You know, if you're a magic character, a stamina character, a tank character, if you don't want to go with the kind of norm, you know, recipe that everyone uses, make something that is a bit more unique to these play styles, to these characters, and add those into the game. I mean, usually everything you're going after is max stats. So max stam, you know, stam recovery, magic, magic recovery, health, health recovery. And it's pretty much, like I said, just the basic kind of recipe idea. And there's so many of these recipes available in game. You can farm them forever and end up looking at, you know, I'm going to go make, you know, a new recipe for whatever and, you know, whatever class you're looking at. And you go in there and look and say, man, I got like 30 recipes of the exact same stats pretty much. I understand, you know, the, People like to farm these. If you're like myself, you played for a long time, you probably have farmed them all. But at the same time, there's really no need in getting many of these collected because most of them, like I said, are the same or about the same statistic wise. So I'm hoping Zoss will eventually look at these recipes and kind of rework this entire idea and go with something a bit different. Change it up some. Change it up to where, like I said, these recipes would fit unique kind of builds, change up the way the stats work on them. Even if you're going to use some of the same stats we have available to us now, mix and match it. Even if you don't want to go in depth and make a brand new recipe that is completely different than what we have, that's what I would like to see. But even if they don't go that far, at least mix and match some of these stats that we don't have available to us now in a recipe. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what recipes you would like to see added into the game. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, of course, the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.